Welcome to Shruti Lakshmi's virtual classroom. Today we're going to see histograms. Just like a line plot, a histogram shows the frequency of data. But instead of marking the data with x's, however, a histogram shows them as a graph. And also remember that a histogram has two sides, which are the x-axis and y-axis in order to show the different frequencies and characteristics. Histograms are just like bar graphs, but a histogram doesn't have spaces between the bars. So these are the bars. As you see, there are no spaces between the bars. And also, unlike bar graphs, histograms, instead of categories, has numbers and ranges. Also, histograms has frequency. So as you see, this histogram shows the number of people living in your home. So 10 students were asked, how many people, including yourself, live in your house? So their answers were recorded on a tally chart. So I created a histogram by using this data. So I want to know how many students have five to six family members in their home. So by using this histogram, I can see that six students have five to six people living in their home. And I also want to know how many students have three to four people living in their home. So as you see, when I point right over here, it has no number. So sometimes instead of writing from 0 to 10, 1 by 1, like 0, 1, 2, people use marks like this. So that means this is 9. So if they wrote 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on, it would make a bigger histogram. Instead, they just write it like this. So what is a histogram? A histogram represents the frequency of data just like a line plot and instead of marking the data items with an X, a histogram displays them as a graph. So the graph they are talking about here is the bars. Also a histogram has two sides which are the X axis and Y axis to show the different frequencies and characteristics. A histogram is a type of graph that shows data in the form of a picture. So here they mean by picture as the graphs. Finally, it is similar to a bar graph which has categories, but a histogram has numbers grouped into ranges. So now let's see the differences and similarities between histograms and bar graphs. So let's see the similarities first. Both histograms and bar graphs or graphs, they also have the x-axis and y-axis and both the graphs use bars. So the bars here refer to these bars. Now let's see the differences. So histograms are used to show distributions of variables while bar graphs are used to compare variables. A histogram plots quantitative data with the ranges of the data grouped into bins or intervals while bar graphs plot categorical data. So what they mean here by histograms plotting quantitative data with ranges of the data grouped into bins or intervals. So they're basically meaning the ranges. So the ranges are like 1 to 2, 3 to 4 and so on. So ranges are when you group numbers together. So by the intervals and the bins, they mean bars here. So each bar has a different range. So the pink bar has the range 3 to 4 and the blue bar has the range 7 to 8. But a bar graph instead of ranges or numbers has categories like blue, pink, purple, red. So that's what they're saying here. Let's see another example. So you want to ask 65 people their ages and you're going to invite those 65 people to your party and their 
and the age allowance is 5 to 25 years. So you collect the data and you organize it into a histogram. And you range the numbers from 5 to 10, 11 to 15 and so on. So I have to write the numbers from 0 to 25. So instead of writing 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on, we can write it 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So usually on the graphs, there won't be line if it's written like this. But I have written the lines to make it more easier for you to see the numbers. So I want to know the number of people in the age of 11 to 15 coming to my party. So as you see here, this is 25 and 20. So it's between both these numbers. This is 21, 22, 23. So there are 23 people in the age of 11 to 15 attending my party. And sometimes if they don't have a range or number beneath the bars, they have a key. So this pink bar means 5 to 10 and this purple bar means 16 to 20 and the blue bar means 21 to 25. So this is how histograms are used. Thanks for watching.